Um, we are here at Taste of Asia, which is a delightful, tucked away little uh, Asian restaurant specializing in Vietnamese cuisine. Um, I love this place. Along with what we're ordering today, I also ordered what I usually get, is how much I like this place. Um, we are having frog legs, uh, which is something I've never experienced. Um, I have heard a story about frog legs. The, uh, Mal, of course, who's holding the camera, her mother, told me a delightful story about a man that she once knew who was killed by frog legs. Apparently, they were looking at the menu at a uh, Treasure Island restaurant, saw frog legs, and he made a joke about frog legs and found it so funny that he laughed and laughed and didn't stop laughing until he died. Aneurysm, whatever, he still laughed himself to death over frog legs. So, whether or not it's a cursed food, this is one instance, I don't know, let's hope not. But we've ordered it, and it's on the way. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I know what people say to expect. Apparently it tastes like chicken, which is my least favorite phrase when it comes to what food tastes like. But we're going to go for it. I'm going to try and find something that isn't chickeny about it, if it does taste like chicken. But uh, we're excited, and we're waiting, and I have my tea. They've arrived, and to prove it, they're here. They've arrived, and it's perfectly clear. Um, these are quite definitely frog legs. Um, we got the little feet. Um, I expected them to be joined, like, at the hip, you know, like little walking legs, but they're not, which is fine, you know. They're fried also. I was kind of hoping for, for pan-seared, but they look delicious anyways. Um, little odd thing to note, I don't know if you can tell just from the shape of this, Frogs have kind of nice legs. I don't, I, I, that makes me a weirdo that I'm a weirdo for saying it, but these are definitely shapely frog legs. These probably came from the sexiest frogs that they could get. Um, and we're going to put them in our mouths. Um, we're unwrapping the feet because I was hoping it would be, you know, like the web frog foot kind of thing, you know. But it seems like it's just more meat. I didn't know frogs had particularly meaty toes. But apparently they do. Um, and while we have a second, I'm going to eat some. It's very tender. It is immensely tender. It's much more tender than chicken would be. Um, it smells fantastic. Like, as you can see, this isn't just some bullshit. Like, oh, it frog like is so weird. It smells amazing. Um, it smells fantastic. It's made in basil sauce. They had a lot of options. We figured this would be the one that would mask the frog leg taste the least. Um, there was like a chili option, and then there was garlic, and that all seemed like a little much. God, it smells so good. I should clarify again, I adore this place. It's a little hole wall in the just the shittiest strip mall you've ever seen. There's a Big Lots over there, there's a Save a Lot over there, and there are six hairdressing places in between the two. It really is a crappy, crappy place, but this is just... My, my favorite secret of this city. And... Progress. Okay. I'm going to avoid saying it. Because it doesn't taste like chicken. It's kind of a weird mix of like a fishy, flaky kind of tenderness to it. And like a light fish flavor, like it, this definitely came from the water, that's very clear when you, you taste it, um, and it's a little meatier than, than fish, so of the two, it tastes more like fish than chicken, but it's definitely along that same line. Mm. I was surprised when I found out the frogs were white meat. I really don't know why. I can't imagine what else they would be. But it still took me off guard. Here is a frog leg bone. It's very, very cute. The kind of bone you'd give to a miniature chihuahua or something. Um, hmm. They're not hollow like bird bones, like, you know, but there's something in there, and it's not unpleasant. And the rest of this is all just good stuff, like it's onions, peppers, it's basil, but frog legs are pretty damn good. I've heard it before, and I wasn't 100% ready to believe it, but 
if you have if you have the chance and if you have the means, because honestly this was like 15 bucks, which is a little steep for a novelty, but it's really good for a really good plate of food, which is what you get. Probably. All right. All right. I know it seems like I'm really belaboring this point. You have to come here. You have to come here. It's a taste of Asia. It's right next to a shitty save lot and an even shittier big lots. And it's the best food you will ever have. The single best Vietnamese restaurant I've ever been to. Everybody's super nice. For some reason, they treated us awesome when we were in there, like above and beyond what anybody would do. Come here. I love this place, and I don't want to see it get shut down.